asked me a question about curve cast. She wants to know about curving in front of a rock or curving behind a rock. And there's a couple different ways to do curve casts. Basically with the curve cast, what she's trying to do is get the line to land in one direction, the fly to land in another. Perhaps you want to cast up against a bank and get that fly to swim up against the bank before it turns and comes back towards yourself or maybe that boat. Or maybe you have an obstacle, you're trying to curve around. To the right or to the left, curve cast can be a pretty tricky cast, but with a little bit of practice we can get these pretty easily. So one of the best ways to make a curve cast, and probably the easiest ways to make a curve cast, is to take that loop and turn it on its side. Make a low angle cast, and when you make that low angle cast, if you overpower it, you can get that fly to hook around and come around a target. So if those three hula hoops are our target, we can do an overpowered curve cast. Oh, drop the line there. We can overpower it and get it to maybe go around those hula hoops. Let me see if I can do that a little bit better for you. Come around those hula hoops in that manner. Well, that's actually in front of them. There we go. Around the hula hoops or maybe in front of the hula hoops. We just shorten up that line a little bit and curve it around. Now when I strip that fly in, it's going to go up the bank, then come away. Just like a bay fish would. It would stay close to that bank when you're fishing in a large trout stream. Another way to do a curve cast other than overpowering that fly to get it to hook around our target, that was much better, is to underpower our curve cast. If I was casting and maybe I wanted to make it curve to the right, if I do kind of a half-hearted forward loop, now that fly will hook around in the other direction. Now this one is very tough to be accurate. Notice I just gave it a little bit too much and it straightened right out. It's kind of a real half-hearted forward cast and now we can get that fly to curve out in front of that target. To get it to curve a little bit further away, really kind of open up and come around, and now it starts to curve. That one's really, really tough to be accurate. Another type of curve cast that I like to apply is a little bit of a twist with my hand on that forward cast. When I'm coming to that stop, rather than stopping with my thumb right on top, I'm actually going to come forward and turn my hand to a little bit of a stop. This is a great way to get a nice curve cast to the right. I set up my target, let's say I want to go beyond those hula hoops on the other side, and I twist to a stop, and that gets my fly to curl right around. This one I feel much more confident in myself. Some people like that low angle and kicking it around with a little bit of an overpowered curve cast. If I want to go in front, I just shorten up my line a little bit, apply that twist to the wrist, and there goes the fly curling around. Let's see if we can do that one a little bit better. There we go and just hook it right around and now I can strip that fly in and get that streamer to go right up along that bank or right by that rock trying to catch that bass or that trout. If I overpower it off my opposite shoulder, this is a little bit of an easier way to get that curve to the left. Just come over your opposite shoulder. Trying to twist that wrist in the opposite direction, that can be really tricky and it, it's kind of painful actually sometimes. It's, it's a little a little weird, a little awkward. But just coming low and overpowering it is a great way to hook it around to the right in that case. So in review, we got two different ways to do this curve cast. We can overpower it and hook it around. We can come over to this side. We can underpower it and get it to turn a little bit. We can come over opposite shoulder and overpower it to hook it around, or we can come over our normal shoulder and just apply that little twist of the wrist to hook it around in front of that bank. This twist of the wrist, that one's my favorite curve cast to make right there because you get a nice well-defined 90 degree angle. So Cindy, I hope that helps you and your casting.